Now a follow-up to a 2 News exclusive. New information about a class ring with a cross-country connection. Ken and Oliphant is live with the update. And I spoke to a very excited Ashley McDonald. She's a 2001 Bethel High School grad who didn't know her ring was lost until a Dayton woman found it. I would like to give her back her ring. You know, it's a, you know, this is a, you know, a keepsake. A thrift store purchased by Valita Swain turns into a quest to return a precious item. Yeah, it is nice. I like it because it's silver. Mm -hmm. I like silver rings. She could have pawned it off. So I feel really grateful that she is such a great person and she's made such an effort to return it to me. So thank you so much. That's this is the rightful owner, Ashley McDonald. Um, with Skype, she's talking to us from her home in San Diego, California. McDonald says she heard about her class ring being discovered soon after my story aired. I got a lot of... Um, calls and messages just from uh, everyone, family and friends, to let me know, hey, so it was like pretty public. And the story went viral when Swain found the ring in a brown purse she purchased from a thrift store on Linden Avenue. McDonald says she thought the ring was with her parents. I left in 2004, and since then both my parents have also moved, so I think it maybe just kind of got lost in movement or something. Swain says she protected the ring ever since she found it, even with some people telling her to sell it. You, you know, just somebody's personal engraved and it, it got to be something to it. You know what I'm saying? McDonald is happy Swain made the right decision. I would like to say thank you very much for holding on to my ring. And um, like I said earlier, I feel really fortunate that it fell into the hands of someone, you know, so honest. Now, McDonald wants us to get the ring to her father. We're making every effort to get that ring back to family members. Again, I'll keep you posted. Kenan Oliphant, 2 News on your side.